Hey everybody, I here. Welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Well, I played a little bit, recorded some, and uh, didn't have much luck on my last hunt. It was actually I had zero contact with any black blacktail. I had I saw some bear, saw a couple moose, but nothing I felt like it was you know even close to being an ethical shot taken with uh, this uh, 243. So I did uh, go down here and build a hunting stand and another hunting stand up here. Then I continued a long run all the way over here up this huge mountain to this lookout unlock that and then I did not go all the way up here to the outpost because I was just tired by that point and um, so that one's where that's where it's located but I haven't unlocked it yet so I can't fast travel there so I started down here in our normal spot um, my plan for today is since we're going for black tail male black tail deer um, and we're trying to drop them really quick I want to head on over towards this lookout point, try to unlock that, see if we can get some more uh, uh, places of interest, maybe a, an outpost as well over in this region. Uh, there tend, it seems like that most of your blacktail are sort of clustered up in this general area here. So I've had more luck seeing them there, so I don't really want to go over here because it's pretty much all, you know, black bear over here. So there is a couple new things as well. I went ahead and took the plunge. Um, I do want to get the this one as soon as I can. I just need a little bit of a uh, little bit more money as well. Um, yeah, so we'll get we'll get to that eventually. I want to upgrade to the 270 or something a little bit more punchy. Uh, as it stands now, you know we have the that's a that's a moose, right? Oh, hold on, I lost it. Okay, but yeah, that was a moose calling out. Nothing we need to worry about there. So the rifle ammo, ammo I'm using right now is the uh, polymer tip. Get a little bit more penetration, but um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead. I, th I think I want to save my money, actually. Yeah, we shouldn't need more than 18 rounds, I hope, in this uh, uh, today. So the other thing that I got here, pretty cool. I went ahead and bought the uh, expansion the little DLC for about $4 for tents, ground blinds. So the tents, you should be able to... Uh, deploy them and fast travel and all that stuff and rest there and all that stuff um, which is kind of cool ground blinds are nice for hunting obviously I like to be able to put my stand wherever I want them tree stands those are my favorite absolutely um, so I definitely want to pick up one of those as soon as I can and then the tripod stands which are kind of cool but um, they're I think those are a little bit better you know for like wide open prairies where you don't have any trees but um, yeah so definitely some of my favorite uh, items there and um, the other thing is check this out so I went ahead and ordered up uh, again another four dollars was for the uh, ATVs so we can travel a little faster get where we want to go so we just need to pick our color I'm gonna go with Jade and we'll request that it's arrived where's it at there it is all right let's jump on and see what that's like I've never actually ridden on a vehicle in the hunter so this is gonna be a first for me enter is that the fuel nope that's the uh... oh that's pretty cool um, I think that's that blue bar down there is the condition of the vehicle. So let's uh, mark our point. I want to head on over here and unlock this, but I'm going to hit these first. So let's place a waypoint here and let's get there. Let's see, see how quick we can get there. Oh, this is so much better. Easy to find tracks, huh? Oh, this is great. I want to kind of hold on. I want to. See, I can't turn all the way around. My head won't rotate. I was wanting to see how, how much, uh, how the tracks look. Let me do, let me do a turn here. I want to see what the tracks look like. Oh yeah, clear as day. Right there, nice wide tracks. I can't even. Oh, it's a warning thump from a rabbit. Okay, let me get back on here. Let me back on. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know what I'm running over there, but... I wonder if you can actually roadkill rabbits with these. Whoa. Oh, wow. Railroad tracks that actually behave like railroad tracks. That's impressive. 
so used to games not taking that into account. Uh oh. You know, I spotted some tracks close to where you're can, at right now. Wonder if I can I'll send the get through here. Can I do it? Or is it gonna kick me off the edge of the Maybe we just need to go slow. Or there we go. Straddle that rail and we're good. I have a feeling that's a bunch of warnings. I feel like I'm at an amusement park on one of those uh, go-karts that are on the rails. It always keeps you on track. Well, this is a much faster way to get from point A to point B, I'll say that much. Looks like it's a deer stand of some kind. Yeah. That's what it is. Now hope seems to think some black I'm not gonna... are passing through and scaring off the black tails. Yeah, I'm not Could gonna build true, it. But it's hard to know for sure. If you come by any bear tracks in Belmont, let me know. Put me on. Let me on. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and set up. The next waypoint for over here. We'll unlock. Well, actually, you know what? We got one right here. I'll just have to go over to this one real quick. We need to map it. Ooh. Oh, it took a little damage. So you gotta be a little careful. Okay, this is just a monument. Um, we're gonna cancel that. I'm gonna stick with what I have here. Wildlife. The wildlife varmint control is operating in the area to address the problem of hungry, wandering coyotes in nearby towns and cabin villages. There are many ethical considerations involved in wildlife management. Before initiating any wildlife control activities, the individual must become familiar with applicable federal, state, and local laws. Okay, so I'm guessing that's trying to tell me basically that this is a hot spot for coyotes. Let me see, how am I supposed to go? There we go. I guess you can just kind of look at the seat. There's no press E to enter or anything like that. I need to go about a half mile this way. Just be careful. I bet you these are all black tail. Let me take a look at these. Can I look at them from here? Yeah, those are, ta those are deer. Try to get pointed up right here. Come on, turn. It's not wanting to let me go up the hill. I need to I need to turn before I get onto the hill, apparently. Kind of go straight up it. It's probably stability control. It's probably telling me, hey, buddy, you're going to roll to the left if you do that. I like this area for hunting, so I th think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to this lookout, find, well, if I can, I think I'm off the beaten path here, and then, um, oops, what the hell happened there? I jumped off? Let me do that. There was the prompt. Where'd it go? Did it teleport? Yeah, it teleported to the other side of that tree. Must have thought it was in a bad spot. Yeah, and then unlock the cabin. So I, we can, in the future, just come straight here. This is going to be a lot better for Blacktail. It looks rocky. Really rough area here. This terrain, yeah, it's pretty tough. Man. A couple of boulders right there. And a big old drop. And another big old drop.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I'm not taking much damage, at least. Still... Some of the worst ATV driver ever. I need to go down to the bottom. Not try to drive sideways on the hill. That's just sort of idiotic anyway. I misjudged the size of that sapling. Okay, there's the lookout tower up there. Leviathan Lake down there. How do I get up there? Son of a gun. Is there a road? There is a road. I need to kind of go to the left here. Yeah, this is going to be another one of these lookouts that's up on the top of a mountain, it looks like. And this mountain looks pretty formidable. That sapling does not look like it should be able to stop me dead in my tracks like that, but whatever. Let's see where the path is. Not quite there yet. Oh, I see the path. Let's just jump on it. At least we can travel a little faster. There we go. Much better. Much easier. And we get a little experience points by unlocking the, the tower, so that's always nice, too. That's a cool little shack. Oh, okay. That looks like rabbit. Yeah, that's rabbit poop. Yeah, this is the way to travel. That's the way to do it right there. Pretty cool. I like it. Now if I could just buy a DLC for an elevator, I'd be set. This lake's pretty cool. I've had some good coyote hunt, hunts down, down in this area in the past. All right, let's survey it. peak in the reserve, but the lake at its base is a remarkable sight in itself. The growing coyote population in the area has caused some trouble for hikers in the last few years, but Fiona and the Wildlife Varmint Control are tackling the issue. Alright, well, wish I could tell. Let me place my marker down here, see if we can see it. I want to see. Where's my marker at? Let's Let's scope this and see if I can see if this is a outpost or not. Before no, let's not shoot it. Let's see, is that? Yeah, I don't think this is an outpost over here. I can't remember what this is over here, but there's, I think it's like a um, some sort of animal activity, like a watering area, or sleeping area, or something like that. I'm pretty sure that the outpost isn't over there now. I think other one that I saw was let me zoom out here oh we got a bunch up here oh there it is there's the outpost okay I forgot yeah that's right if you even if it's unlocked it still shows up as as that like that so um I think what we'll do is we'll head we'll just hop back on the trail and head up here that should be pretty easy and we'll probably hit this on the way yeah let's hit that on actually we'll hit this one on the way so let's do that. And then we'll start our hunt from there and work our way out from there. But that way, that way the next time we hunt, we have a, a new starting location. Away from some of the pressure that's that we've caused already. The nice thing is that the uh, ATV doesn't cause any type of 
pressure along the route that you take. Like, it doesn't scare anything. It doesn't appear anyway. So, that's a plus at least. So we can get our rifle ready in case we need to hop off and take a shot. I don't know why we would, but... Uh, yeah, that's the rabbits that were down there. The poop I saw. Let's get going. It shouldn't take too long. I'm going to stick to the path. Should be a pretty sm smooth ride. My noise uh, signature is a bit high right now. A bit high. Thirty-eight miles per hour. That's that's pretty quick. Shooting down a trail like this definitely feels a lot quicker than going down some side street in a residential neighborhood. I'm gonna get some rain now. Okay. Stand by, let's head on down here. Oh yeah, okay. So it's a hunting stand. Head back up to the road. I wonder if, ah, I can't bring up my hunter mate right now. to go ahead. I like how I'm continuing to drive forward a little bit. Just coast forward as I look at my map. Whoa. Whoa. That looks like it could have thrown me. Set me down a, down a hill in a very nasty way. This one should be just off the trail, so we shouldn't have to really... Yeah, it's going to be... One of these. Let's see if this gives us any clues. Mount Leviathan is actually a dormant volcano. The crater today hosts the lake. Clear. Rabbits. It's got to be rabbits, right? Mm, maybe not. Blacktail deer? I'm hearing rabbits. You never know what you're going to find. Rabbit <laughs> crossing the road. All right, I'm not going to smoke the rabbit. I wonder if you can roadkill one of. Oh, I just about found out. Okay, um, hold on. Is that my other point of interest? No, that's the one I just passed. Let's place the waypoint there. Unlock our outpost. There it is. All right. I didn't mean to do that. Stop, ATV, stop! Is it on fire? It looks like it was on fire there for a second. I was just trying to track the animal call, but yeah. It, try, it tricks you. You shouldn't do that when you're on there, because the track key is the same as dismount. All right. So here we go. Got some experience points for that. I think it's time to start our hunt finally. So, yeah, thanks for indulging me. Well, I played with the new toy. So, um, I think I'm going to use that thing to go from outpost to outpost and lookouts and things like that. Um, yeah, I can't. I think we're good on everything, honestly. I'll check. Yeah, I got plenty of ammo. I got 18 rounds. That should be plenty for a hunt. What time of day is it here? It's 11.10. That's fine. That's fine. Um, let's go ahead and head over this way. It's probably another... I'm guessing it's another rock monument. And then we'll head over to this lake. This looks like a wide open area. And maybe we can get a good vantage point from over here. So let's, let's start heading that way. Best we can. Let's go crashing through the trees here. It's almost as loud as the ATV. See if I can 
see what it is. Should be able to. Nope. It's going to be a... There's the axe sticking out of the uh, deer stand. Or deer... Yeah. Permanent deer stand. So I don't need to go to that right now. I can just... Uh, we'll just head on over to the lake. I guess I'm going to pass right by it, so no big deal. It's all foggy now. Have to get a few hundred yards away from that ATV. Nice thing is I can tra fast travel back to the uh, camp there and the ATV will be there. I think I can summon it anywhere. If I want to. Now well, let's see what these are. These are probably more rabbit tracks. But hopefully not. It's purple as if I was tracking it. So maybe I did track that sound when I dismounted. I didn't see what it said. It's a black tailed deer. It's running. <laughs> it's running for its life. Coyote. Black tail. Warning call. Interesting. I don't think I'm going to be able to call in the blacktail. We can try. But I'm pretty sure, at least the mechanic used to be, that if it was a, a warning call, it wouldn't respond to lures or calls. Sensor calls. Now, one thing I did do, and I forgot to mention this, was, what the hell is this? I hear something. Is it a rabbit? Sounds like rabbit. I think I see rabbit poop ahead of me. I do. It's a field of freaking rabbits. So, I went ahead and I got leveled, leveled up and I increased my level for tracking here for locating tracks. So it makes it a little easier. I feel like I'm being ambushed by the rabbits like they're all going to jump out at once. Thump me to death or something. There's a deer. It's right in front of me. Is it a doe? It's a doe. What do you know? It's a doe. Uh, that was a coyote. No, oh, that's a deer again. That was a weird sounding call. So that's a different deer. That's not that one. It came over from the left. So I'm going to try to... Quietly. The doe should not spook too easy. I'm going to try to get over here to the solid. Around here. And try to prone out. If I can climb up on this, this would be awesome. If it lets me. I don't think it will. It will. Perfect. Prone out here. Now I'm above. I'm going to spray my scent eliminator again. Don't mind the aerosol sound. I think that other deer is uh, savvy to me. This one looks like it's not so much. Now this would be a great time for a bow because you could silently drop this deer quick and not spook any of the other ones. That's one of the things I like about using the doe or using the bow. Now I need to be careful because I might accidentally build this thing if I hit E. All right, she's really close. I'm thinking about taking a shot here. There she goes. Probably better that I didn't. I don't think she's going to spook any other deer. She'll probably reset pretty quick. Uh, let me go ahead and I think I got I think I got credit for the spot yeah yeah she reset pretty quick she didn't go too far and the other deer was over here and she kind of took off that way so I'm not sure if it would have spooked this one any more than it already was now this one seemed a bit a bit extra alert which makes me think maybe it was a male Versus this one. Mm. 
I'll probably end up actually calling this one back in. If I know their behavior. Not that I really want to, but possibly. I think this one's just like, screw this area. I'm out of here. Yeah. This one's probably lurking around back here somewhere. Probably didn't go too far. keep thinking I should just take shots on everything and grind away until I get a nice rifle. Ooh, what's this? Is this something looking at me? Or am I tripping? Uh, see, I thought uh, that right there, I thought was the ears on the deer poking up, looking at me right through there, right in the center of my screen. Right there. Yep. Right there. It kind of looks like a deer looking right at you. I think it's time to keep moving on. Try to be slow. We'll just move nice and slow. Walking, you know, it's going to scare them. They're going to call out way before you. And there, this, this is there's some white tracks right here. So that's a different deer. Oh man, I miss, I miss the times that I could look at tracks and tell if they're male or female. Because then you know which ones to just go for every time. Oh well, part of the grind. It's all right. Oh boy. I also miss my like recurve and my snake bite bow. I wonder if they still have the snake bite or if they changed the name of it to something else. Those are rabbits droppings. This is not rabbit droppings. Unless it was a very constipated rabbit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this deer was close. Feeding area over here, looks like. Maybe, maybe there was, we know there's two, possibly a third deer, but I think it was just the two. Maybe it wasn't. I'm not sure. That's running. Yeah. So that one ran that way. Probably a male. I might, I might go ahead and track this one. Because I have a feeling this is a male. As as cagey as it was. So I think I'm going to try tracking this one. It's the best lead I got right now. That's a big question. Oh, here it is. Right in front of me. I do like the magenta tracking color. I switched over to this and yeah, I think I'm going to stick with it for the time being. Trot. Okay, so it's starting to slow down here. Which makes sense. And it went into the deep, deep brush where I'm going to make all kinds of noise. Crackling and crunching through it. Trying to find... Oh, there's the next track. Okay. Let's try to get to it with lowest amount of noise possible. I think I'm going to go around. I might skip this track if I can tell generally what direction it's going. Looks like it's going this way. Now 
now where it gets confusing is where you have incoming tracks mixing with outgoing tracks, things like that. There's some more. Okay, there's magenta in front of us here. Okay, this looks like it opens up overlooking a field down here. So this might be good. If it's decided to go down to the field to wander around a little bit. There it is. Buck, right in front of us. Oh, just went down the hill. There it is. Stand right there. I'll take a headshot on that one. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? It's a big buck. I'm going to stick with what I got here. He's going to come out either on top or down on the field below. Hopefully he's come towards us. I'm going to try to call him in. I saw him move behind those. He's like, was that the one that got separated from me? Which way is the wind going? Oh, it's perfect. Good. There he is. There he is. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Trot up this way. Yeah, he's coming. He's coming. You gonna let me get my spot or no? Oh, I gotta be fast on it. Apparently. Try calling him again. I need your help. Save me, my hero. Okay. I got the spot. That looked like a pretty good shot. I did not get the... I don't think I'm going to get the bonus. What do we got here? It's a doe. Yep. The doe is just like, what was that? Should I be concerned? I'm going to just trot off here. That looks like a pretty decent sized bull of blood. Okay. I think he's gonna we're gonna find him dead right in those trees. I would have liked to drop him right away. Like that first doe, but Vital Organ hit. Nice. Yep, he'll be in here. Okay. There we go. Aiming a bit higher there for you guys. So uh, I think maybe that'll be a lung shot. At least like what, left lung, at least. We'll see. Bleed rate medium. Mm. I was kind of hoping for something more than that, but a lot of times, if you just don't chase them immediately, it'll, they'll they won't continue to be pushed to run further ahead of you. So we know he went up here somewhere. I'm gonna cut around this way so I don't make a lot of noise and spook him even more. Okay, I see another track over here. I'm just gonna sit down here for a second and just wait. Wait for him to bleed out. He might have already bleed, bled out. I see the next two tracks ahead of me there. I see some blood and I see some footprints. What the? A mating call. <laughs> I guess uh, gunshots get that one in the mood. I can see it. Maybe I can get, get both of them with one. See how uh, reluctant they are to come towards the sound, though? Yeah, I mean, he he kind of stayed there for a while, took a few steps forward, just enough for me to get my shot. I'm going to cut up here. If this one takes the bait, hopefully it's another male. That would be great. We could complete out this mission, assuming I drop this one to get, what, 50 or higher quick kill? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Is this it down here? Yeah, that's it. It's laying right down here. So, we know where this one is. Now it's fogged over, so I can't see what's coming through that prairie. Wonderful. But hopefully it's another male. Hopefully 
these two were coming together to have a little turf war. Yeah, this is definitely the place, the, the, the side of the map to uh, hunt these blacktails, though. Maybe I'll get the quick kill. This didn't really go that far. Low and slow, that is the tempo. Yeah, he died right in the middle of some really noisy trees, didn't he? That was very unkind. There he is. Is that a boy or a girl? It's a girl. I'm going to take the shot here in a second. That's a lot of blood. Again, that, that's a lot of blood. That one will be dropped. You can see the blood splatter from here. It would have spooked anyway had I... Let's confirm this one. Yeah, I left long. That's like what I thought. What was my... Uh, did I get any... Quick kill dump bonus. Where's that at? Difficulty tracking. Wait. Proper anim ammo used for this animal. Animal shots two times or less. Intact trophy organs. Hit one vital organ or more. Trophy rating. I wonder. We'll, we'll see. Uh, where's that at? Does it say? Distance? Um... I got a gold on it, so maybe that's something. Hit information. True score. So our true score here. So that breaks it down here. All the beams and tines and stuff like that. A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F equals. There you go. That's how they do it. I don't know if that's Boons and Crockett or not, but. That's how what it used to be. And there's where my entry was, right there. So you can see. Not a bad shot. I got I missed the bone, which was good. And I hit right there. That's yeah, that's not bad at all. I'll go ahead and accept this one. Got nine hundred and forty cash money here. Some nice experience. Now let's go check on this one. This one should not be far at all. Rifle reward score, plus 33. I'm going to take it nice and slow through here. I thought I heard a second one. Yeah, we're aware of that. Let's take a look, see if I got... One out of two. I got credit. Oh, what do we got here? We got another one coming. So it's a do another doe. We'll call we this is the other one that we heard walking, so it was just two doe back here. I'm going to walk back a little bit so when she comes through the brush here when she comes through the brush here we'll be able to uh, take a clean shot on this one and hopefully drop it right where it stands. I think I s No, I don't see it anymore. Alright, there's the huge amount of blood. If we hear something walking up behind us, we'll get a vital organ hit. This one will definitely not be very far at all. There's the incoming tracks over there, I think. These are outgoing. No, this is incoming. That's outgoing. I think. Are you following me? No, not following. Yeah, those are incoming tracks. You can see which way the toes are pointed there. Or hoofs or whatever. Is this my blood? I'm looking for more blood. This thing has got to be dropping buckets of blood. I think that's blood here. Yeah. Yeah, these are outgoing. Yeah, this is a run. So this is after it got hit. Well, we did get the quick kill bonus because we got one out of two. So, that was good. Roosevelt Elk. Oh, that's the first time I've seen it since I started playing the game over again here. 
Again, this is a vital organ hit. Bleed rate medium. But it's going to be right up through here. I'll we'll just pick up the pace here a little bit. I think I see it up here. Yeah, I do. I'm just going to stand up. Then we'll clear this area. I thought I saw it. Apparently I didn't. Definitely gave it enough time to completely bleed out. I, I thought this one would be dropped a lot faster. I'm interested to see what I organ I hit on this one. Pretty sure it's going to be another lung. Obviously, if you hit the heart, there it is. If you hit the heart, it's going to drop like a sack of potatoes. If you hit the spine, sack of potatoes. Brain, sack of potatoes. And I'm getting hungry for french fries. Alright. Let's see. Left lung. Did I hit the same spot as before? Oh, I went on the other side of the uh, shoulder bone there. But yeah, I, I hit the left lung, so good shot there. A little bit higher, I would hit that spinal column and dropped it. Yeah. All right, let's get a little bit of uh, money for this and experience. Not much, but a little look at the cash. See, I got 900 for the... Uh, 900 and something for the uh, buck, and uh, getting 713 here, so... Makes me just want to kind of take shots at everything, just to get a, enough money to get that 270, and then start hunting with uh, something with, with a little more punch behind it. So, in the meantime, let's take a look here. I'm kind of getting off track of where I w initially wanted to go. That's okay. Um, let's just head on back over here then. There's no... We're getting out of the pressure zone. I could I could kind of go for, towards this lookout, but I think we're getting up into more of the... Uh, Roosevelt Elk area up through here, which is kind of where, yeah, look at how big this map is. Are you kidding me? Been all over here, and this is how big that map is. Wow. Even on the ATV, it's going to take a lot of time, right? So, um, do I want to go up here? I think I do want to go unlock this. Of course, I could just ride ATV up there. Yeah. Let's just go through here, because it's going to open up, get to be more prairie-like, and make the hunts easier. So I'm just going to go this way. Over there, I'm pretty sure it's going to be more forested. But over here, much more prairie. I feel like I should nope, not not do that. I meant crouch. Kind of move like that. I think this is the best way to move. We're just gonna stay low and uh hold down shift so we do sort of a fast duck walk. Sort of a hasty hasty uh crouch walk, yeah. nose out so I'm ready spray a little bit more of the scent illuminator on no my scent is heading that way what the okay that's a mating call from a black tail we're gonna get right on that if I want to go up there because it'll come up over the, I don't know I'll probably get a really good shot if it comes right up over the hill and pops up on me and I'll probably hear it before it gets a chance to react I think I am I think I'm going to get in here and uh, hopefully it's a male hopefully we can complete out this quest that would be ideal I'm definitely feeling way more dialed in I got some shooting tips from Drax's Storm Shadow there. What I meant to say was I always try to go for the heart. 
And the heart, when you look at the uh, diagram, when you're harvesting, it looks like it's really low in the chest cavity. And um, I, don't, I shouldn't be going for the heart, probably. I should probably be going for a lung, double lungs, every time. This is a pretty good spot. The wind's going s straight behind me, which is perfect. Hey, if you want to have babies, here I am, big boy. Come get me. We'll see who penetrates who first. Oh, I'm just all about the double entendres today. Ideally, I'd like to get up on one of these rocks prone out. Kind of hang out up there. Oh, there, there we go. We got moving. <laughs> Speaking of the rocks. What the hell was that? Yeah, it's going the exact direction I don't want it to go. There might be a male with it, so I'm going to kind of hang back and see what we got. As you, see, as you know, they, they do like to travel together. get into this. Oh, there we go. Where's that? There it was. I just saw the head of it. It just went over the ridge again. It doesn't appear to be spooked yet. And I just gotta keep my head on the swivel because if there is a male with it, if there's a buck, it could... There we go. Yeah, she's not bothered by anything. I think she's a lookout. I think she's, uh, she's scouting ahead for a male. I'm going to hold what I got here. Oops. Get low. Get low. She's not spooked. Yeah. I'm going to leave her confused up there. I don't really want to call out again. I'll probably draw her in too close. If she leaves, I'm just going to go up over the hill and basically follow her. And see if they're together. If they're walking together. Okay, I hear I hear footsteps. question is, do I need to... Will I have time to spot it? Or do I need to go straight to the rifle? So we're just going to hang out here. Everything's favorable for us. Where are you at, sweetheart? Is that another one? It is. I think that's the one that... I, oh, 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 I see it, actually. Hold on. Stand by. Is that the female that went trotting past us? Yeah, I think it is. I think that's the same one that went trotting past us last time. Right, I'm going to give one more call out here. I'm sort of getting them to draw in on me here. But I don't think they're bringing any boys with them, unfortunately. Let's see. if I think this one stopped. It was like, huh? Where'd it go? Nope. Oh yeah, she's she's redirecting. I don't see any boys with her either. She's coming straight in on me. Well, if she, hmm, I think I might try to move up, move out of this area. Go up here. And uh, I think this one's given up on me, but it might be coming back because of that call out I just did. So I'm going to move away from where I called out in case this one comes straight up to it. 
It used to be in Hunter Classic. You'd be up in a tree stand and you'd make a couple calls and they'd be circling underneath your tree stand. All these does would just be... It'd be, it'd be driving them nuts. They'd all be circling down there. Nice and quiet now. Oh yeah, that's how you move right there. No crinkling of the grass or anything until now. But Let's try to avoid that. Nope, slip down the hill. Can't go that way. Let's go this way. Okay, we got one danger close. Just on the other side here. She came back. She's right on the other side of these. She's right on the other side of these small saplings. Can't get any higher there. Damn. right there. Watch it be the the boy. Try to squeeze around this rock if I can. Now my wind's going straight <laughs> it's going straight towards him. There she is. There she is. I want to take that's a big organ hit. I want to take that shot because I'm pretty sure there weren't any males in this area. I'm not seeing any other white tracks. Just this one. Plus the one that was down there, but that was a female as well. And I'm pretty sure she's by herself, so. Vital organ hit. Yeah, she's close. Which way did she go? The question now see she's put tracks down all over this place. Walking in circles. So now I gotta look for the next blood. Just to see which way she ran. I'm pretty sure she ran out this way. Pretty sure. The jig is up. There's no, uh, no need to be quiet now. Yeah, here's blood. No, is that, yeah, this is blood. Okay. I think I'm on the general. Yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna be medium. Yeah. Okay, so she, I don't think she came from this direction, so I'm pretty sure these are outgoing tracks here. Yes, they are. And they're trotting because she's severely injured. She'll be right up over here. Some more blood. Okay. There we go. And we'll just follow this up to the... There she is. Halfway up the hill. Taking a little nap. Well, not a bad hunt. We didn't get to complete the quest because we couldn't find any more than that one buck. That was a pretty nice buck, though. I was happy with it. Let's see what I got here. Flesh, right scapula, and the right lung. All right, yeah. Got all the, all the check marks for good uh, a good ethical kill. Yeah, she broke her right shoulder there, and it still went through and still got her uh, her lung. So, all right, yeah, seven eighty two cash again. Some more experience points. Good stuff. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, bid you guys to do on this video. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. I uh, really enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all take care. Wait, do I hear footsteps again? I don't know. You have to join me in the next one to find out. Y'all take care.